So what is going on guys? My name is Mr. Dalek Jedi. Thank you for joining me where today we are playing Dot Isendrak live for you guys. This map is absolutely unreal and this is like my fourth, maybe fifth time ever playing this map. I have a fairly good understanding of the map now in terms of like where things are, how to get across the map, uh, manage to get ourselves the crossbow which we'll hopefully manage to do. I'm a noob, I've actually got my sound turned down because I'm a massive noob. Managed to find the easter egg song so turn down the sound for map from the previous game but all should be good now and this map literally takes place before the events of moon on black ops 1 zombies and if you if you know about the story if you're hardcore about the zombie storyline you'll know that there was a um that the moon's griffin station and in preparation for the events that happened there was another kind of group and another area called eagle's nest and the Isendrak is actually Eagle's Nest. So the way the story just like is woven and works and just links in the most ridiculous amount of ways is insane. We have parts of Ascension, we have parts of Moon, parts of, I don't know, the Giant. It's just a mix of tons and tons of maps. This is pure fan service at its finest. And I don't, I don't even know how this easter egg on this map could even like end like this map is incredible and we are ripped off in so the quotes we're getting is so vital to the story of this map it's crazy so as you see when i spawn i have this weird kind of tram fuse so i can call the tram at any point and it will bring the tram back to us which we originally spawned on and it will give us a drop i believe it'll give us a drop of some sort there we go, got double points. It's kind of like Shadows is like you open that first door and bam, you get yourself a free power up. If there's another way to get yourself a free power up, double points is always great. It's the one we need really to build up our points. But we're going to go open up and get ourselves to the mystery box pretty pronto because, you know, that's what we need. We need to get ourselves some weapons. We can't be dealing with this pistol. But if you guys are hyped for the eyes and drag, let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments section and make sure to smash the absolute hell out of that like button. I say we could aim for between five and 10,000 likes. It's a big shout, but we managed to get a load of likes on our giant live game, our first one. This isn't my first time playing. I felt that was a little bit slow. It just kind of, it felt a little slow. And you guys are here to watch the map like pretty fast and see how things are done. Now, the audio for this isn't gonna be great. And it's because I'm actually playing this a little bit early you're watching this in the past like this is like past me playing zombies right now but i'm actually at a pre-release dlc event where we get to capture the game early thanks to activision it's, it's, it's lit and um i was like damn we have the chance let's smash out a solo live run while we got the chance just finished playing a game with uh, three players managed to find out a ton of stuff there's gonna be a tutorial on my channel on how to get the crossbow which is actually called the wrath of the ancients it's pretty simple but it'll show you all the locations <gasps> oh death machine i've not actually managed to get this yet so it literally is wow this looks a little different to how it did in black ops 1 and 2. now we've got the death machine icon but I don't know, it's got an ammo counter as well, so I'm not sure if, it, if we wait for it to time out or if our ammo is, we have this much ammo. Oh no, we don't, it's already going. But you can hear Dr. Groff, which is, which is what we heard in the moon radios. I'll let you guys have a little listen. Alright, that was pretty brief actually. But the stuff going on in the storyline in this is phenomenal, like what Jason and the team have done in this map like I'm so impressed much like I'm never playing Shadows of Evil again the giant I might play again just just for story wise I'm not I'm not talking rubbish about Shadows of Evil I think it's a great map personally I know a lot of people that don't think the same but I mean you can't really compare can you like this is this is just fan service now this room is lit because we have a ton of we have a ton of like devices which are connecting us to moon we have the biodome right there as blueprint we have cameras outside the biodome and actually in and around it's absolutely mental and we got a dragon head dragon head is so vital that i actually do this so if you go underneath one of these dragon heads and shoot a zombie it's going to activate it and we need to kill zombies under the dragon heads to fill them up and once we filled up all three of the dragon heads we're going to get ourselves the wrath of the ancients this map is just so freaking exciting 
and this is barely scratching the surface. This is just a live gameplay. The stuff I'm going to have on my channel right now already up and will be uploading throughout all of today is going to be insane. I've got a, a um, playlist link down below in the description containing all of my gameplays for this, including a like 15 minute roundup of gameplay. So if you guys perhaps want to watch some actual gameplay going through the entire map rather than a live gameplay, that's there for you. This is just going to be... It's lit, boys. It's lit. This is the zombie map we've all been waiting for. Like, this is a continuation, more or less. It's like a sort of continuation from Moon, or it's just taking place beforehand. But the story in this map is we have a test subject, which is Dempsey, being flown in a rocket to the moon. And we need to stop that rocket from ever reaching the moon. Like, my mind is just blown right now. And I think that's the last zombie, so let's actually go and open up. Um, so here we have the power switch. Stay back, undead filth. Undead filth. It seems so there we go, we've got the power turned on. And this opens us out to like this main area. As you can see, we've got parts of the teleporter. So, uh, uh, Pack-a-Punch, I'm going to say. So, the Pack-a-Punch is straight out of Origins, but it's actually broken. It's broken up into three pieces. And those three pieces get around the map, and whenever you find the last piece, that's where the pack a punch is going to be. We've got this last zombie here. I'm feeling what we should do is... Hmm, what shall we do? Do we spin the box again? I feel like we should. We've got another dragon head down here. So this is already going very smoothly for a playthrough. If we can find the Wonder Fizz machine, that'll be great. Hey, there it is. It costs 1500 and it'll give us a random perk. Now, I'm unsure if this is going to be... Actually, let's grab this weapon. Now, I'm unsure if there is a new perk in this map. We saw the trailer for it. I might have gameplay of a new perk up at the moment. But I'm assuming getting a new perk would only be from a Wonder Fizz. And we got ourselves a dog round. Unfortunately, dogs aren't part of the process with the dragon. Sorry if you can hear some loud screaming in the background. Like I mentioned, pre-release DLC event. And people are playing multiplayer right now, getting hyped. Me and Milo, Mr. Waffle Waffles, yes. we're playing zombies yes. and getting freaking hyped. You know what's up. Yes. But I do have some, I have, I have some multiplayer gameplay up on my channel. But you know, we're delving into the zombies. That's what we care about the most. And you know what else is awesome? The prospect of me getting into a game with relaxing end. One of, one of the best zombie slayers there ever is. He's sat facing me right now. The man, the myth, the legend. But I won't show you him, obviously. Oh, we've got Dr. Groff speaking again. There is an update, and Rick Toffin is speaking to Dr. Groff. Listen to this, boys and girls. The machine is ready, innovating the conduit. <laughs> Very good. I will proceed with Operation Shield and join you shortly. Security protocol 935. Uh, no, no. No, uh, no actually. So, what you just heard then is the MPD and the events from the MPD actually come in to take place right there. Maxis has already sorted out. Well, no. Richtofen has already sorted out Maxis. It's, it's. Like, I, I honestly wouldn't know what to do with the storyline of this, of zombies right now. And what the team have managed to. To think up is absolutely mind blowing stuff. Alright, so right now we're trying to get this dragon head filled up. I'm training the zombies around because this amount of zombies will definitely fill the dragon head up quite nicely. Uh oh. There are seriously so many zombies, it's, it's absolutely insane. We need to try and find Juggernaut now. Now, it's in a really easy to find place near spawn, but I, I, it's just skipped my mind right now. But Juggernaut is what we need. It's, it's pretty much the most essential perk. Besides Quick Revive, of course, for solo gameplay. I reckon we could fill up both Dragon Heads with these amount of zombies. Now, that's one of the shield parts, and the shield parts are always in the same place, which is a lot different to Shadows of Evil, which I'm liking a lot. I'm pretty sure I have a guide up on my channel as well showing you where all the shield parts are but there's around about three or four buildable benches around the map so it's quite easy to build up a shield there's a lot of places. These dragons they are so greedy! 
They just want every single zombie soul they possibly could do. Now to a mention as well, compared to the giant Richtofen, there we go, that dragon's done. Compared to the giant Richtofen, this Richtofen is pretty much just like the old Richtofen of Black Ops 1. Evil, demonic, crazy, everything we've grown to love about the characters. Right, I've made myself some crawlers because I want to go exploring. Right, we'll go with two crawlers. So let's go down here. See if we can find some new perks, anything cool like that. The last dragon head is also down here. This is called the Undercroft. And this place houses some very, very cool things. Now, here's actually Pack-a-Punch. We won't deal with that because there's actually another place where there's going to be Pack-a-Punch. But right here... Once again, my brethren sought to manipulate powers far beyond their control. So that right there's a reference to the gatekeepers and as you can see, stepping on these stones activates something. I'm not sure if this is, I'm pretty sure this is a co-op only. We managed to get something really cool to happen when playing in co-op, um, which you obviously will see on my channel at some point today. It's definitely part of the easter egg steps. But this is like very much like the MPD from Moon, the, the big triangle that Samantha is trapped in. And these, if you step on all of these, it actually activates some sort of anti-gravity in the room. You can run on walls, and there's a symbol on the wall, as you can see, which relates to one of the Wrath of the Ancients. Very, very exciting. Now, I'm trying to remember... Oh, here we go. So, there will lead us to a teleporter, which will take us to where the rocket is. But if we open here, I believe... No, not here. Actually, no. This place is really cool, though. This is like a casket of a dead soldier, and as you can see, we have ourselves an item which you can definitely recall being in moon uh this is where we'll find our little prize for doing with the dragon heads i thought we'd done one of the oh i thought we'd done two of them we've only done one so far now up here lead us back to the, the lit room where everything's going on we've only done one dragon head i'm a big new oh yeah we haven't filled up the dragon head i swear to god we did that last one went to stone but we've got gramophones it's, it's just everything's crazy but here no not here there is another debris to buy, which is very similar to that one. Here it is. Oh, we don't even need to buy the debris. So here is where Juggernaut is. Boom. So remember now, once you put the power on, from spawn, if you go upstairs and through the first door, find it there. Well, so I'm pretty sure I filled up the last dragon head, but just to make sure, let's go back up. You see Gatekeeper straight out of Shadows of Evil. We've known that these things uh, were on the battlefields of the Great War, which means they were there at the time of Origins. So, these guys go far, far back, as foretold in Nero's book. And this stuff is just coming true. Like, this map is so ridiculously cool. Even like this, early into the DLC season, I can't begin to fathom what the other maps could be like, you know? It's just, it's just mental. Right, Dragon Head. Yeah, it's gone. And we've done the dragon head. I'm dead confused right now. I thought we'd done the dragon head uh, that was in kind of like in the first section that we've done. I swear to God, we've already done it. If not, we've got a few more zombies to let the magic happen. So goodbye, little casket zombie. Yeah, he never was filled up. That's crazy, right? So we've got two zombies. It should be more than enough to fill them up. Let's go. So it sounds like he's been active for a while, so I think... In Mob of the Dead, if you left the dogs for too long, they'd disappear. But it seems like with this, it doesn't. Does it need any more? Looks like it does. It's a bit of a greedy dragon, I'm not going to lie to you. Right, round seven. We need to find a Wonder Fizz. Oh! Mr. Groff is speaking to us again. Uh oh, got myself a Panzer Soldat. All right, I think anyway because it doesn't seem like our surroundings are secure anymore. I've only come across the Panzer Soldat once. He wasn't very nice. Oh, the Dracon! And just like if you guys have watched any of my gameplays, you'll know I absolutely love the Dracon, and it is the best sniper in the game. I feel like if we can pack a punch this, we'll be great. 
Sure now, nice. we need to show you the rocket. We need to show you the rocket. Let's get Pack-A-Punch open. Out of any Zombies map I've played, getting the Pack-A-Punch open on this one is probably the easiest. I'm really surprised at how easy Treyarch made the Pack-A-Punch. But I'm very happy at the same time. It's like, well... Oh, drops luck today is insane. You know what? We should be taking these to the dragon. And the last dragon is actually down below. So let's, yeah, let's look. We, let's not waste any more of these zombies. Let's go straight. Also, there's another bit there. That place there is absolutely insane. We'll show you that in just a second. We'll open it in this round regardless. We've got this massive side bit open here. There's like a trap called the uh, the death ray, which just shoots down lightning bolts. It's absolutely madness. I've never seen more lightning litness in the zombie map ever. With our Dracon, I think if we get double tap, we should definitely be good for one hits, but for one hit kills. But still, it's great. Let me know down below in the comment section what are you thinking of this magnificent looking zombies map. Detail-wise, it's literally got everything. It's got Origins, it's got Ascension, it's got Mob of the Dead. It's just full-on amazing. Alright, let's take our time with this dragon. See if we can fill it up. If we can get ourselves the bow by like round 7 or round 8, that would be amazing. So yeah, bear in mind guys, when you play co-op, these stone steps, something very, very important. Alright. We should be able to fill up the zombie, this, this dragon head with all these zombies. Zombies are mad slow right now, which I appreciate. Now this map might seem quite easy. I I respect that. I appreciate that. <laughs> Guys, you ever wondered what Mr. Dark JD me means? It's actually a uh, anagram of DJ Khaled confirmed. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people in the comments say that. If you're new around here, you've always wondered where that name come from. We know now. If you're doing this, we'll get us a brand new bow. It's not a crossbow, it's simply a new bow, but it's absolutely phenomenal. And there is a way to upgrade it at the time of me doing this playthrough. No idea how. Because if you look there, it's very much like the rituals. There's some sort of rituals we need to do with the bow. But of course, by the time you're watching this, I might have a guide up on how to upgrade the bow. But I have a guide up on how to get the bow by showing all of these dragon head locations. So it'll be really simple and easy to follow. So very slow at the moment going on, but we're getting these dragon heads done. It's a, it feels very much like Mob of the Dead, which you got a tomahawk at the end. But what would you prefer, a tomahawk or the Wrath of the Ancients? This is a bow crafted with the help of the Ancients, which I'm assuming are the gatekeepers, and the spine is actually made from dragon. It's, made, it's a spine made of a dragon. It's, it's absolutely mental. We haven't got a lot of zombies left. Come on. Any more for any more? Does it want more? Oh no, it's done. Something else can begin. There we go. He said, now that's over, something else can begin. And if we go over here... I'm actually going to put away the Dracon. You're probably going to hate me in the comments. Okay, here we go. Okay, Richtofen said... Okay, that's interesting. This isn't the Groff. Richtofen is being sly, no chill right now. He's not listening to Dr. Groff at all. Right, so let's open up here and show you the actual rocket launcher. So, we've got ourselves the Wrath of the Ancients. It has 60 bolts in it. It's made from the spine of a dragon. As you can see, it's really messed up. And we've got a Pofkin language on there. The fate of the world rests on what happens on the moon. I must prevent the inevitable. Yes, Richtofen. Yes, Riptoffin, you are talking, you are, you are completely right. So, let's activate here. So that's our second teleport of piece, or the Pack-a-Punch piece. And now we can teleport back and get to the last part, and then we should have Pack-a-Punch ready and open. But that's where the rocket launches, and throughout this map, it actually just launches test rockets. It doesn't, it doesn't actually, like, launch fully into space. It's always just tests, which is quite strange at times. So we've got to wait for the teleporter to recharge, which is sweet, but it looks slap bang at the, at, straight out of the giant. No! 
All right, let's go ahead and go back to the last. So we can have the pack a punch anywhere you want. And I, I'm not sure if it's down on where you place the pack a punch or. Oh, whoa. Okay. So the pack a punch is now down here. That's sweet. All right, now it's time to show you something really, really, really cool. Wow, Dr. Groff wants to make sure that we will not leave the castle alive. Are you sure about that, Dr. Groff? I'm, I'm ripped off him, you know? You can't just say statements like that and think, you get, you think that's going to hold. Anyway, if you come over here, one of these doors, where are we? I am, like, this map is not that big. It is definitely quite, at first, it's quite jarring because it feels like places are here and then you go somewhere else and it's just things are moved but after a while you you get used to the layout of this map yeah i mentioned i wanted to show you something mad and i'm trying to remember where exactly it was now oh i remember now i remember so is it along the bridge yes it is we've not opened there yet let's open up up here and this is this is mad so this is the living quarters this is actually samantha's bedroom Remembers this room. I remember Samantha. She is no longer here. Look at this on the walls. We have drawings from Samantha of herself with Fluffy. We have like diary entries written. Daddy says there used to be a dragon a long time ago. It's a picture of Samantha riding a fucking dragon. Like, how sick is this? And then to make things even more cool. We've got a wonder fizz, but what makes things even more cool is the fact that we have a projector room projecting images from the moon. And that test subject is Rick in. I'm not sure what that is. Is that a gatekeeper? What on earth? That's a dead gatekeeper. That is the extraction at the, the moon site. You can see the MTD there. Griffin Station Phase 1 underway. Like, this is just this like... The craziest Maxis. stuff. This room belongs to Maxis. He's one of the first to be. Never mind. Look, Tuffin, why won't you say any more than you're saying? He's being very, very sneaky. But we've got ourselves one piece to the rocket shield. Right, let's open this actually. We've now got basically the whole map open now. You recognize that symbol, eh? This map is just loaded with Easter eggs. Like, when we first saw all this. It was absolutely like it was beyond words. But I think what what I want to aim for now is to find the Wonder Fizz machine. So then, what we can do is see if we can get any like interesting perks, perks that we can't get from perk machines right now. But you've seen pretty much most of the map now. It's actually not that big of a map. I'd say it's smaller than Shadows of Evil. Uh, I remember there was a tweet saying that this map was 50% bigger than the giant. I think it's a little bit bigger than that. This definitely is not as small as the giant. Oh, no, but let's use the Wrath of the Ancients. So it's sort of a low round like this. It is freaking mad. Like, it's a one hit kill straight away. Shoots explosive bolts. I believe if you charge it, it shoots more. So let's see. Bam. Yeah, that shot two bolts. So if you fully charge it down and then bam, two. Oh, we got ourselves another death machine, boys. 